this video, I'm going to show you a really cool riff in the key of A minor. If you watched previous videos of mine, uh, there's module 9.1 where I taught you how to add even more to your solos by connecting the positions in the A minor pentatonic scale. If you don't know the A minor pentatonic scale yet, there are videos linked where you can learn that and also free printable downloads in the description of this video if you want to learn that before you come back here and do this. But it's not necessary to know them before you're coming here, but you'll know more about what I'm talking about if you watch those videos first. In that video, I made up this riff in the key of A minor to show you how easy it was to just make up a really cool riff and also just to show you that you can do it too. And it, you know, your first few might sound a little whatever off or whatever, but eventually once you get used to it, you're gonna create some cool sounding things. But for now, if you want to play a cool sounding thing without having to make one up, cause some people just rather just be told what to play and that's totally fine and cool too. Well, here we go. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to play that riff right now. So if you look at the screen, this is that A minor riff. When you see a forward slash like that on the guitar tabs, that means you are doing a slide. If you need to know how to do a slide, I've linked a video in the description so you can easily learn how to do that and then come back here and go over this riff with me. Same with the hammer on, there's another video linked to learn that if you don't know that yet. But if you do, the H in guitar tabs means hammer on. So we start on the fifth string in the fifth fret. So I would suggest using your first and third finger for this because it'll be faster and easier. So fifth fret, then seventh fret with your third finger. Fifth string, fifth fret, seventh fret. Okay, that's the first part. Then you go right to the fourth string, as you can see, and do the exact same thing, except one thing different. You're gonna play the fourth string in the fifth fret this time, same finger but then you're gonna play in the seventh fret and then slide up to the 10th with your third finger. So why don't we do that? So we'll start from the beginning and do fifth string, fifth fret, seventh fret, same thing, but seventh fret, slide up to the 10th, okay? So, let's do it again, fifth, seventh, fifth, seventh, slide. Make sure that no that note is being carried all the way to the 10th fret. All right, now from there, we have our third finger on the 10th fret, so we can easily use our first finger to go down to that seventh fret on that third string, and then we're gonna hammer on to that ninth fret from there, still using the first and third finger. So let's do that from there. We just slid up to that 10th fret. We're gonna put our first finger on the seventh fret, play that and then hammer onto the ninth. So play it, seventh fret to ninth. So let's do all of that together really slowly. Fifth string, five, seven, five, seven, slide, seven, nine, hammer on. Let's do it even slower. Fifth fret, seventh fret, fourth string, fifth fret, Seventh fret, slide to that 10th fret. It's harder to carry the note when you go really slow though. And then you're gonna go third string, seventh fret, hammer on, ninth. Then we go to the second string, eighth fret, 10th fret. So for this, since your fingers are already like this when you hammer on, you can then use your second finger to do the eight, 10, or you can do you know first, third, but it's gonna be faster if you wanna end up doing it faster using your second and fourth finger. I highly recommend doing that just to get your fourth finger on board. Uh, keep it strong for future things. So seventh fret, hammer on, eighth, 10th. Seventh fret, hammer on, eighth, 10th. So try that and then let's try it all together. Five, seven, five, seven, slide to 10, seven, hammer on, nine, eight, 10. My recommendation, if you end up wanting to do this really fast, is to memorize it. I know I always say that, but it's really easy to memorize. You just take it string by string. You start with the fifth string and go, okay, I know what I'm doing, and then go add that fourth string, and then do fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth, and then, okay, you got that, add that third string, and so on, until you have the whole thing memorized, and then you've got it, and all you have to do is build speed from there. You start slow, 
do it, make sure you're doing it right and that it sounds good and then build up speed once you got the whole thing. This riff actually connects both position one and position two in the A minor to pentatonic scale and I wrote that riff just to show you how they can connect on the fretboard so you don't have to stay in the box that a position is. Eventually you're gonna start seeing the whole entire scale on the fretboard without the boxes, but it's nice to learn the each position in the box so then you can do something like this and get out of the box. So try it out and let me know what you think in the comments. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on notifications because there's so much more where this came from. We also now have memberships where you can get even more out of your guitar playing. You can check it out by clicking the links on our channel page. Thank you so much for watching.